Today on Side Guys, homemade light bulbs. Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And welcome to Side Guys. On this episode, we're going to be exploring electrical circuits by making a homemade light bulb. It was my bright idea. An electrical circuit is a path on which electrons from an electrical source flow. Electrons will only flow along a path if it's a closed loop. This means that only closed loops can be considered circuits. The equipment we're going to need for this experiment is 8 D-cell batteries, some electrical tape, 2 sets of alligator clips, a large mason jar, a shot glass or other form of narrow glass, either glass or plastic, some mechanical pencil refills, this is 0.7, and a pair of scissors. The safety equipment you need this week include goggles, a lab coat or apron, and insulated gloves. You can get burnt or zapped if you're not careful. Also, make sure to do this experiment in a well-ventilated area because the smoke produced can be hazardous. To start this experiment off, you're going to have to tape 2D batteries together end to end with positive ends connecting to negative ends. Repeat this until you have multiple batteries put together into one big super battery. We got this experiment to work with seven batteries, but depending on the thickness and the brand of graphite you use, you may need to use fewer or more batteries than what we did. Take your shot glass and tape one of the alligator clips to its side. Then tape the second alligator clip to the other side. Make sure the clips are facing up. Carefully place a graphite pencil refill between the two alligator clips and clip it in. Be careful not to break this pencil refill. If you break the refill, replace it with a new one. Place the mason jar or a large glass over the top of the shot glass. This will contain any gases produced in this reaction. Next, clip one of the alligator clips to the positive side of your super battery. Then, touch the other alligator clip to the flat negative side of the battery. Once you've done this, give the circuit a few moments to warm up. It should begin to glow like a light bulb. If it doesn't, Try moving the clip around on the flat side of the battery. If that doesn't work, check to make sure your graphite is still in one piece. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Every battery has a positive and a negative side. Electricity freely flows through complete circuits, from the negative side of our battery to the positive side. By connecting our batteries in sequence, positive to negative, we increase the total voltage of our battery, which produces enough energy to charge our graphite. When we have the clips in our experiment attached to both the positive and negative sides of our battery, we create a complete circuit. But what is our electricity doing to our graphite? Graphite is made up of carbon molecules. As the electricity travels through our graphite, the carbon molecules gain energy and rise in temperature. Carbon molecules will continue to gain energy until they reach a really excited state. Once they are excited, they begin to release that extra energy as light and heat. The more energy they gain, the brighter the light will glow, and the hotter the graphite will get. You now have a working light bulb. This effect will continue until you remove the clip from the battery, the graphite breaks, or the batteries run out of energy. That was Homemade Light Bulbs. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. And remember, if you have any questions about this experiment or about science in general, feel free to send us a message on YouTube or on Facebook, and we'll try to help you out as best possible. See you next time. Bye. Here at SciGuys, we're always curious how experiments turn out, so if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.